Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video is all about this, this tiny little projector, which is very, very impressive. In this little package here, this tiny little piece of kit, you have your projector, speakers, Bluetooth. It's got a lot of apps on there for um, things like YouTube and Netflix, etc. You can plug a memory stick into it. You can link it by Bluetooth. You can link it through the internet and you can put a HDMI cable into it as well. But I think that is a perfect size to use in a camper van, particularly in the winter. I don't, we've got a TV here. We hardly ever use it. Um, but in a winter, if you're away, the, the nights are so long and cold. If you're in your camper van, you could set this up inside your camper van and have a real big screen to watch TV or YouTube or even one man and his whippet. Um, and we've got two of these. The model number of this is for a company called Wimius, W-I-M-I-U-S. And it's the Q2 DLP projector. So we've got one of these to give away and this will be given away in our Christmas video along with all the other things we've got um, uh, to give away at that time. But I, uh, this is one of those products that, uh, and I really like it when it works like this, is that I, come, I get contacted all the time by different companies asking me to review stuff. And there's some stuff and I go, oh yeah, that'll be great. I want to review one of them. I want one of them. That's going to be really useful. And then there's some things, and this was one of them. And uh, I thought, that's not going to be very good. It's tiny. It's not going to sound very good and the picture quality is not going to be very good. But after playing with this, <laughs> it is very, very impressive for its size. And I, um, I've i recently put, I'll show you in a minute, I've put some Vanex curtains across the cab where the bulkhead would have been in this van. And they're grey on this side and black on the other side. And that's so I don't have to close the blinds around the windscreen if I don't want to. I can just cut that section of the cab off. Keeps a bit warmer in this side. Or if, I, if I'm camping, I don't want to bother closing the blinds. I can just close those across. But the silverness on them is good enough to use this as a projection screen as well. And I did buy a small screen. I was that impressed with this. I thought we're definitely going to use this in the camper van. I did buy a small screen as well off Amazon, which was about 20 quid to project this on. But it looks like the curtains are going to be good enough to use this as a projector. And you can use it upright and inverted. So I can fasten this up here. It just literally slides in here and I can project it onto those curtains and have a big screen. And the sound out of this for a van of this size is really, really impressive. So let's have a, a better look at it and see what we get with it. In the box, it comes well packaged. You get the actual projector and the projector has this fancy stand on the bottom, but you can unscrew this. This unscrews out the bottom and that screw size there is for a tripod. So if you've got a selfie stick or a tripod, it will fit on that as well. But this is quite a quirky um, stand. It's It's got various angles you can set it at and adjust it to. And you can invert the picture of this as well. So you can have this upside down. And the way we're going to use this, I was wondering how to fit it in the van. But the way I'm going to use this is this just slides into one of the surrounds of the air vents. So I can turn it upside down, swap the screen around so it's upside down. It'll project it the right way up. So it's very portable. I can plug it into my skylight and there's a battery in this which lasts for about an hour, an hour and a half. So it's long enough to watch a, a program or a bit of YouTube. Obviously, you can put the mains lead in there and charge it from the mains, which comes with it. Or you can charge it from a USB. But being up there, I can run it to a power pack or something. So that's not a problem. And also in there, you get an HDMI lead with it as well. You get an instruction book, but it's all touch screen. This here is a like a pad, and this is where you can move the cursor around and set adjust all the settings on the screen. These are the new Vanex curtains I've just fitted, which fit in there really nice. I've pulled them over slightly to this side, so I've got a flatter screen here to project on. Um, but they're really good quality if you've. I bought these, there was about 70 quid, but real easy to fit. I do have the built-in blinds in the front of the cab, but these just, just like them, give a bit more warmth. 
and as I say, if I don't want to use those, don't want to bother putting those across, I can just put these across. Although my first thoughts of this was to buy one of these screens. I think it was about 20 quid off Amazon. I'll put the link down below if you're interested in one of these. And this is just a roll up small screen like that. And I thought I'd use this and I'd put some sort of clips on here. But the actual brackets on this, these little eyelets on here, which you can put hooks onto. And it does come with some stick on hooks. These actually slide into here and there's enough there to hold it. So I thought that's what I'd do. And the quality of the projector is better on that with it being a white background and a proper screen. But it's as good, <laughs> I think it's good enough just to use it on the curtain. So I've got two options to do that. And this takes up no room whatsoever. It just simply rolls up a little fitting now cupboard where we keep all our cooking equipment. Even though the actual projector itself, this tiny little projector comes with speakers in it, which are loud enough for in here. I, I, I'm not going to bother at um, linking them to anything else. You can actually plug headphones into this or you can Bluetooth it to a Bluetooth speaker. We have a Bluetooth system in here and speakers to uh, it's actually a karaoke unit and a radio unit. But um, I'm not going to bother because the speakers are good enough in this for what we need in this van. And this, if I'm not using it, can just sit it put there, out the way. Don't take up any room, really. So that little stand on there, which moves in all directions, um, if you use it this way up, it just slides in there, look. How good is that? Or if I want a bigger picture, I can move it back. You can change the screen size um, through the settings on this using the remote control or the actual pad on here to move the cursor around. I think <laughs> having that up there is excellent because you'll just, if you're not using it, tack it down, stick it in the cupboard. And it doesn't take a penny size whatsoever. And of course, in a summer, on a summer night, if you're outside, a few minutes having a beer, you can use this outside, particularly if you've got a white van, our van's black, but you could project this onto the side of your van as well. So that's what it looks like. It's 1080p. I think my phone's struggling to... I'm obviously in the camper van and it's quite dark. No. It is a good picture, trust me. <laughs> um, but what you have on there is all your apps and your various links, your various media links. And then in the settings, you can change networks, Bluetooth, language, your projector settings. So in there you can change your protect to mode, uh, the keystone, so the angle of the size of it, if you're altering the shape of it. It's actually on automatic at the moment. I think I've got that on the highest brightness, I have. And the size of it as well. So it's on the biggest size there. Obviously, if you move the projector back, it becomes bigger. Those lines and colour things you're seeing on the recording now are because of my phone, not because of the projector. It's a bit better if I get a closer look. Really easy to use. You can either use a mouse on the actual touchpad if you're near the device or just use its remote control. And it's just super easy to use. It's just plug and play. I've got no internet on at the moment. And you can download your own apps onto this as well. And the remote control, nice and straightforward, easy to use. Got a couple of batteries in there. It didn't come with a battery, surprisingly, so I have to buy two uh, AA batteries. No, two AAA batteries to go in there. So that's it linked to my phone. Struggling with this camera. <laughs> Let me put some light on and see if that helps. No. There's none of that shimmering on the picture. The picture is good quality. I have to take my word for that. The bigger picture, I can move it back. You can change the screen size and through the settings on this. This tiny little projector, <laughs> which is very, very impressive. In this little package, 
So you can have it through Bluetooth or through the Wi-Fi for internet or you can actually put a lead in and plug it to your phone. If you don't have any signal and you've got some on your phone you've downloaded or your laptop or there is the HDMI lead that plugs in the side as well. A YouTube and Netflix etc. So you that's the sound. An HMS and Purely from the little you speaker. Plug a memory stick into it. You can link it by Bluetooth. You can link it through the internet. And you can put a HDMI cable into it as well. But I think that is a perfect size to use in a camper van. Particularly in the winter. I don't, we've got a TV here. Well, that's it on the curtain. And there is creases in it. I could tension the curtain a bit more, but I'd quite happily watch some on that. But that little screen is absolutely fine. Or you can just plug it in and use it on that curtain or a side of a van or any white wall. So you can, it's very portable. You can use it in the house. You can actually use it vertically as well. If you're laid in bed, you can just have it on the ceiling. Not too good on that carpet, but if you have a screen up there or a white surface, it's perfectly adequate. It does go to a decent size. That's the full size of across the van. And all we've done is move the projector further back in the camper van into the back sky light. Let's put a light on, you can see. So it's up there, slotted in, and that gives you that projected picture there and you can alter the size to fit any screen really so we'd probably have it set on that curtain something like that the other adjustments are done actually on here this is like a touch pad so you move the cursor around the screen and you just clip on the different modes to whichever one you want and you can go back to the home screen and do the alterations so if you're near to it you can use this and the cursor on the screen as I say or it does come with this remote control which makes life a lot easier and obviously if you're laid in bed you don't want to be messing about trying to get to the projector you can do it all off this so it's really well thought out so there's one of these to give away and this will be in our Christmas video and the same rules as all our giveaways um, you need to be a subscriber of the channel so if you're not a subscriber please subscribe it does help us and in the comments of this video, just leave the words, I want one. And we randomly scan through that and pick a winner out. And we'll announce that in our Christmas video. And we'll actually put slides in of the comments as who's won. So you can see it's not a scam. We won't contact you in any other way. We, we cover all the postage and everything else. And we communicate through email once we've um, identified the winner. We check to make sure you're a subscriber and then we'll communicate from my email, which is one man and his whip it at gmail.com. So thanks as all for watching. And uh, you can enter as many times as you want and check out the other giveaways we've got. There's about five, I think we're doing for our Christmas giveaway, various power packs and things. But if you want one of these for your camper van or even in your home, um, just leave the words down below. I want one and you might be the lucky winner. Thanks for everybody watching and we'll see you on the next one.